Sharing economy is absolutely going big and blowing up in the Chinese market. According to the Internet Society of China, the sharing market in the country last year was worth about 2 trillion yuan. Overseas sharing economy companies are both benefiting from the market and encountering challenges. Business Insider listed three challenges facing Airbnb, while Cots reported Uber's fiercest competitor in China is now worth 25 billion US dollars. Today we are talking about how foreign sharing economy companies survive in the Chinese market. You know, for one, they have a well-established competitor, um, which has a sort of a scale of operations that they don't face in any other country in the world. Um, Tujia has like, you know, half a million listings and is sort of a, um, a more established threat to them than any local competitor, say, in the United Kingdom or the United States. Um, I think that um, hosting on Airbnb has a number of cultural nuances there are different aspects to what it means to share your space for money, what it means to stay in someone else's space, mm. that vary quite widely across countries. And so I think an understanding of the local cultural nuances is critical to Airbnb's success in China. And so the deeper these partnerships are and the more they invest in sort of understanding the uh, uniqueness of the local market, I think the more successful they'll be. I think that uh, different kinds of crowdfunding are certainly sort of growing very rapidly, um, where individuals are making sort of early stage investments into private companies, are lending money to other people, um, becoming bankers, becoming venture capitalists. I certainly expect China to be the world's biggest market for crowdfunding. Um, I see a lot of potential as well in the provision of energy and the provision of health care of different kinds. Um, I don't expect that these peer-to-peer -peer energy and healthcare services will replace the incumbent industries anytime soon.